Archaeologists in Israel have uncovered the recorded site where Jesus Christ was accepted to have transformed water into wine. As per the Gospel of John, Jesus transformed water into wine amid the wedding at Cana. In the record, Jesus, Mary and his followers are welcomed to a wedding, and when the wine runs out, Jesus conveys an indication of his heavenly nature by transforming the water into wine. Dailystar.co.uk reports, Pilgrims have for many years trusted the supernatural occurrence site to be Kafir Cana, a town in northern Israel close to the Sea of Galilee. Be that as it may, in a stunner improvement, archaeologists currently trust the Cana of scriptural occasions to really be a dusty slope five miles encouraged north. Furthermore, our photos indicate exactly the area of the amazing find. Various convincing pieces of information propose the site is really Kerbat Kana, a Jewish town which existed between the long periods of 323 BC and AD 324. Unearthings have uncovered a system of passages utilized for Christian love, set apart with crosses and references to Kyrie Iesu, a Greek expression importance Lord Jesus. There was likewise a sacrificial stone and a rack with the remaining parts of a stone vessel in addition to space for five more. Six stone jugs like this held a wine in the scriptural record of the marvel. Dr. Tom McCullough, who is coordinating unearthings at the site, said there were three different locales with a believable claim to being the canna of sacred text. However, none has the group of proof that makes such a convincing case for Kerbat Kana, he said. We have revealed an extensive Christian relevance given complex that was utilized by Christian pioneers who came to adore the water to wine wonder. This complex was utilized toward the start of the late 5th or mid 6th century and kept on being utilized by pioneers into the 12th century crusader period. The explorer writings we have from this period that depict what pioneers did and saw when they came to Cana of Galilee coordinate nearly what we have uncovered as the love complex. As a component of his proof, Dr. McCullough focuses to crafted by first-century Jewish student of history Flavius Josephus. He stated, his references to can adjust geologically with the area of Kermit Kana and adjust consistently with his developments. The reference to Cana in Josephus, the New Testament and in the rabbinic writings would contend the town was a Jewish town, close to the Sea of Galilee and in the area of Lower Galilee. Kerbet Kana satisfies these criteria. Concerning the better known site at Kafir Kana, Dr. Makala is suspicious. At the point when voyagers visiting Israel today are taken to Kana, they are taken to Kafir Kana, he said. Nonetheless, this site was not perceived as a journey site for those looking for Kana until the 1700s. Now the Franciscans were overseeing Christian journey and encouraging simple section instead of recorded exactness. Dr. McCullough trusts the revelations at Kerbat Kana could significantly support the case for the trustworthiness of the Gospel of John. He stated, Our unearthings have demonstrated this was in actuality a flourishing Jewish town situated in the core of quite a bit of Jesus' life and service. For the Gospel of John, Kana is in some ways, Jesus' sheltered place or operational focus. It is a place he and his pupils come back to when they experience opposition in Judea. I would contend our unearthings warrant no less than a re-examination of the verifiable estimation of John's references to Cana and Jesus.